We're in Chisnau, Moldova. We're at Special School 12, and we have a project going on here that we're supporting. So this project is an HCA mission, which stands for Humanitarian Civic Assistance. And what happens is we have engineers from the Kentucky and Iowa Air National Guards that come and they're doing renovation on the school kitchen for special school number 12. By coming here to do this mission, they're able to train on their military occupational specialty while also helping the children at the school and helping build relationships between our two government. We came to the school in January, did a site visit, and we asked the principal and the staff of the school what needs would best help you and help the kids. And right now, this year, it's the kitchen. The kitchen is old. The, the ductwork is old. The electrical is old. Some of the disconnects don't work. The floor tiles are loose. It's a trip hazard. Some of the tiles in the wall are loose. Floor drains don't drain. So it just, all those little things start adding up to unsanitary conditions. pretty much did a complete gut of the existing kitchen down to bare walls and then we've been completely rebuilding with plumbing, going to tile the floor and walls, finish the ceiling, uh, new doors, windows, pretty much everything that's required to put, put that kitchen back together. So after coming to the school, the engineers found a lot of side projects that would help improve the school. So some of the things that they're doing in addition to the school kitchen are improving the electrical wiring and the plumbing throughout the school. They're also building a sidewalk to help improve drainage and prevent water from going into their basement and flooding it. The airmen themselves bought paint and repainted their school playground. And they're also building a basketball court for the children, which also allows them to practice their horizontal engineering skills. In addition to that, there's a local NGO that's pretty close to the school and they just got a new facility where they have all the supplies they had but needed technical expertise and manpower. We do these, uh, what we call def uh, deployment for trainings uh, pretty often. We do them once every other year or so. The principal reason is we need to get on the job training. Often our two weeks is spent at a regional training center. We'll work on our skills for two weeks but when you leave the base there's nothing to show, ending for what you did, other than you know our training records are updated. But a project like this, if we come out and actually get our hands on and walk away with evidence that we were there, a project and a project we're proud of, and their men would much rather do that. Some of the stuff I've been doing isn't in my FSC, but I'm learning life skills. I mean, uh, concrete, doing plaster work, tile, that's, that's good skills, and it gives you more attributes and skill set to help you in other areas. And this type of thing is what motivates them. I mean, if I leave them home station, sitting there uh, doing a paper learning process, I mean, they're not going to get the full impact of what they can do or what our unit can do. And our unit is a very good unit, so we have a lot of good skills. And when we put them together like this and then operate as a team, it's very exciting. And they, the younger guys learn from the older guys. We have some so very experienced craftsmen. It's, it's a great learning tool. He obviously can't speak English. He'll just show you how to do things, and you do it. And we've been working side by side with uh, several of the Moldovan soldiers, working with our troops. Anytime you have a chance for the two militaries to work together, it's a great opportunity. Both the soldiers and the airmen from both countries are able to learn how the other one operates. And coming together for this project helps them build a bond that could help in future exercises. Just the opportunity to come to a country you know, like this that many of them hadn't even heard of. That experience of coming here, seeing a different culture and seeing the needs here, I think it's really been impressed upon everyone when they saw the school and the kitchen, you know, how important the job that we're doing and really the effect that this should have on this school for a long time to come. Whenever you travel and see the world and see how other people live, it definitely shakes something different and gives you different perspective things. That helps you see your place and as a country what we can do to help other people. Let's face facts, it is an experience for them. Coming to a different country and learning the different money and how people talk and how to deal when you don't know the language. I saw uh, Doug earlier, one of our foremen, talking to one of the contractors and trying to give hand signals and, and explaining things. And then it's the language barrier that we've had to work through. So all these things uh, meld together to form uh, a really great training environment.
I've already seen some we're playing soccer with the kids and then we go out and We've been out in the community and talking to some people. We run into them. And First, they're curious because they don't really know why we're here. But once we're able to explain to them the purpose and what we're doing, um, you know, they, they really are thankful. And it just makes you want to work that much harder. One of our troops actually ended up playing uh, rugby with the Moldovan Army. And that was a great experience for him and the, and the guys that went with him. And our presence here is limited. And I think it's an opportunity for the United States to just put out a glad hand to these guys. So. We're happy to be here and we're excited about it. The Air Force, Air National Guard, Army, we're all here to, to really help out the community.